Hey guys, what is up? The man, the myth, the legend quad, MFT here, bringing you my first ever in the whole entire world world record. Now this world record is a little bit weird, but you know, that's kind of what my channel is about, having weird weapon wins and everything. So I thought, why not bring you guys the first ever longest gun streak in Money in the Dank? And you guys may be saying, oh, it's probably like a 40, 45 gun streak. No, take those words back right now. It is an 87 and 0, flawless. That's right, guys. I never get any deaths, and I go on an 87 kill streak only using the Desert Eagle. Now, this is the world's longest gun streak using the Desert Eagle and in Money in the Dank, which I thought was absolutely insane. And I'm so very, very happy to be able to bring this to you guys. But a thing about the gameplay that you guys are looking at, I know it is a little bit sped up. That's because it was around an eight or nine minute game because I actually had to speed it up so I didn't have to go on for a 10 minute commentary telling you guys how I actually played this Money in the Dank. But let's get down to the down and dirty talking about how I played Money in the Dank and how I did so well this round. This is probably my actually third or fourth time ever actually playing money in the dank considering it actually came out three or four days ago I was very excited to bring this gameplay to you guys so I can inform you guys on how I did this. I wasn't actually using a full team or a full party running around using support vests or anything. I know there's nothing wrong with that, but I wasn't doing that. I was playing with one of my friends from school. He's a really, really cool guy. His name's Skidmark or Justin, and he actually will be starting up a channel hopefully in the future. I cannot promise you guys that, but he definitely will be bringing you guys some hilarious and some pretty sweet content that I'm hopefully able to help him with. He's a really great guy. But how I took this on was the enemies were not that good. But while you actually pick up the bomb, because this game mode is a lot like Sabotage, it gives you a Juggernaut suit. You don't get to keep your M4A1. You don't get to keep your MP5. You actually get a Desert Eagle, which I thought was a very smart thing to do. I didn't think it would be very good if we started out with like a Scar L or an ACR, because then it'd just be overpowered running around with a specialist bonus on in a Juggernaut suit with a Scar L with extended mags or something. So I think Infinity Ward made a very, very good decision on this. And this is a custom game mode. This isn't a private match, but it recently came out. Some guy made it. I'm not sure what his name is. Maybe I'll find it out. You guys can go check in the description below if you actually want to know his name. It'll probably be there. If it's not, I do apologize right now. But you guys can leave me down in the comment section below, maybe for some challenges for me to get, or if you guys have any world records, I'm definitely looking into getting those. I cannot beat them. I promise you this is probably the only world record I will ever attain in my life. I can practically promise you guys that right now. But this is sabotage, basically, but with sort of a twist. There are actually default classes that they set up for you. There's an assault rifle, which is the M4A1. There's a submachine gun, which is the MP5. There's a light machine gun, which is the PKP Pechenegg. And there is a shotgun, which is the Model 1887. And then there's a sniper rifle, which is the L118A, which I pr probably would prefer the MSR, but, you know, this, they stick it with whatever you get, and that's what we ended up getting. But... Also for this, the special streaks help a lot, so you do not get to customize anything. Your custom classes do not work in this game mode. In fact, they don't even show up. There's not even a skull right next to them to show you can't use them, but I thought that was a little bit sad. But again, they worked very hard on this game mode. The guy who created it worked very hard. You can tell that he put a lot of time and effort to evolve this, and I'm sure it took a lot of tweeting at Infinity Ward to actually get this implemented in the game. That's another thing that I really like, the Infinity Ward, what they've been doing. They've been keeping their game new and fresh, actually implementing a lot of game modes, and just overall awesomeness and just right there I pick up the Moab, it was the Moab it was actually pretty fast and pretty intense I would thought I was going to die right there but then again I am a juggernaut and I do have a thousand health points that I, which I found pretty impressive and was very very excited to have and just just overall wellness just f overflowed me with getting this I know it sounds a little bit nerdy to be freaking out over a video game achievement world record but it is my first ever world record so if we actually could go down and try and get 40 likes on this video that would completely be insane last time you guys got over a hundred and I was so thankful for that it made me so happy and so if you guys could also subscribe if you're looking to see more content you guys can also follow me on Twitter and you can like my Facebook page you guys will get daily updates all the time it's been quantum FT and I really hope you guys enjoyed this world record go tell your friends I'll see you guys next time Thank you guys for watching this video in the upper left hand corner. You'll be able to click on a random video where I do insanely well in an FFA. Sorry, it's not another world record, but in the upper right hand corner, you guys can click subscribe to see more content, hopefully some more world records in the future. And for the previous video, it's a video where I, I actually have a friend get an RSAS MOAB, which is absolutely insane. And I put some commentary over it telling you guys how to get that MOAB. So it's been Quadum FT, and I'll see you guys next time.